There we go. Now, he takes a little bit of alcohol. Alcohol enters the body, it enters the bloodstream. It makes some visits. It goes up to the brain. Now, in your body, in the body proper, Mortimer, he has a liver. But alcohol is very interesting. It's going to go right to the intellect. Just look face it for a minute. The, <laughs> that's, that's really fancy. It goes to the intellect first, and it begins to slowly put it to sleep. Now, it's a slow process in some, but if you have binge drinking, it's a much faster process. Because here we have the alcohol going back to the brain very, very quickly, and the liver can't handle it. So this is what happens. So here we have the alcohol making the intellect a little bit sleepy. So these, here, let's have you stand out a little bit farther. Here we stretch out the cords a little bit. But we're going to see that these cords are getting a little bit looser. Now, we're not going to have them let go completely, but they're a little bit freer. So now when the emotions start coming out, the emotions start coming out a little bit bigger. You know, instead of just getting angry, the anger comes out in an explosion. Somebody says something smart about him being a young kid, and he blows up. What do you mean? And I was like, whoa, now that would not normally happen. Mortimer would not normally do that. But Mortimer would not normally have as much alcohol in his body either. So the motor control is getting a little bit out of control because the intellect that would guide it is now getting sleepy. Okay, alcohol, you can move here and stand in front of the memory. Right like that. It also is going to block the memory. Now, you've heard of blackouts. Okay, now you know there are blackouts where you totally pass out. But there is a thing called blackout where you are awake. You are moving around. You are talking. You are driving a car. You are driving a plane. You are driving a bus. You are doing a lot of very important work, but you don't remember it later. Okay? You don't remember where your car is, where you parked it. You don't remember what you did. Now think about it. He borrows from, the, from a guy that he's just met. He borrows uh, 20 bucks from you. Okay? Promises tomorrow you're going to get it back. He, he made arrangements. You know, you're going to get it back. First, he's going to meet you right there on that corner. You're going to be paid back. Okay? Mortimer also meets a girl at this party. What's your name? Marissa. Marissa? He, he meets Marissa at the party. Whoa, she's a pretty cool girl. She's very pretty and all. Wow, you know. And he's talking to her and he's making a good impression. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden he. Uh, starts to get into an argument. She says, you know, you're getting, you're getting a little bit angry here, you know. Get it, calm down, you're cool it a little bit. He turns on her, gets really upset. She goes, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, uh, goodbye. And he thinks he's driving down the right side of the road. He's not, because the intellect would say, whoa, you're over the line. It's not functioning, and he's not quite seeing it. So he hits a car, and there's some damage done. He thinks he just brushed the car. He looks. He didn't see anything. He goes on. Goes home. Gets home and bumps into mom and dad. Okay, now, uh, they're very intelligent. They see the state that he's in. They can smell the state that he's in. And they know better than to talk to him. Because if they talk to him tonight, what are they going to be talking to? Alcohol. Alcohol. They're going to be talking to the alcohol. When somebody is high, you don't talk to them. If it's alcohol, whatever drug, doesn't matter. And yet, we continue to make this mistake. We continue to believe that they're really hearing us, that they're really going to change, that they're really going to learn, and this is the best time to talk to them. But these parents, his parents are very intelligent, and they know, no way, we'll talk to him tomorrow. Okay? During the evening, the rest of the night, Mortimer's liver has time to process the rest of the alcohol. So we're going to have you just step over there. You're out of the system. Okay? After school, he's amazed to find a friend of his waiting outside the school building. You want to know something. What do you want to know? Where's my money? You were supposed to have it for me this morning. You were going to pay me back for the gambling. Mortimer's intellect, money, money, checks with the memory bank. Do we, do we owe him money? Did we gamble last night? Did we lose money? Memory is going to say, because it never got in there. Now, some things do get in. I'm not saying that alcohol blocked everything out of the memory bank, but it, it can make it very fuzzy, or it can totally block some things. There are 
There are promises that are made when people are under the influence that they don't remember the next day, like a promise to pay you.